The number one team in the country, you got to figure that St. John's Country Day is a heavy favorite to win the state championship again this Wednesday. It'll be the sixth consecutive if they can do that. And as I mentioned, they've won eight, or will have, they've already won eight since 2005. The Spartans are really one of those teams that truly does reload, that they bring a lot of players along early on. They put eighth graders on the varsity in order to get them to understand that work hard, stay humble philosophy that they have that's brought them so much success. They also have a little bit of an inside track because before every game, they must, they must go to a particular restaurant or things just don't feel right. This is cheesy, but we have to eat our Panera because that is our pregame meal for every game. For every year, we've always eaten the same. Every year, we eat Panera. And we honestly, as some of the girls that have been on the team for a long time, like Abby and Elisa, I know we can't stand it sometimes, but it's tradition. We, we've got a lot of experienced kids who've been there a lot. We've had uh, five kids who have five state championship rings. And um, so I think that's a big advantage for us, having kids that know the environment, what we're going to step into. To They're headed down to the land to take on Lakeland Christian. The game is Wednesday at 1 o'clock. As I mentioned, the Spartans are the number one ranked team in the country, and they're trying to win their sixth consecutive title. All of the games, boys and girls, are at Martin Stadium down in DeLand. That means that Creekside is also going to play down there, as the Lady Knights are also going for their first state championship. The Knights are a team that kind of continued to build all year long, and then in the playoffs were able to score goals and get things done at the right times in matches. Now, what's interesting about this particular group is that they're used to playing games. You know, play, have a day off, play, have a couple days off, and play again. There's a long layoff before you win the semifinal and go to the state championship game. So that's a different experience for a first-time participant. I wouldn't say I'm nervous or any of the girls are nervous. We're more excited. I think the anticipation is killing us. Um, waiting those four days, we're just training our hardest and hoping for the best on Friday. We're going to play our hearts out, and that's all we can do. Definitely a different rhythm than, than you're used to in the high school game. Uh, but, you know, I, I think, you know, having, having days where you're, you're going out a little bit uh, more aggressively and having days where you're pulling back, I think, is important as, as uh, the week goes on. So we'll train uh, pretty extensively tomorrow and then pull back again a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday. A lot goes into it when you're in the state championship round for the first time, and they will play against St. Thomas Aquinas coming up at 1 o'clock on Friday. And that'll be the second game of the day that involves local teams because Stanton will take on Merritt Island. That'll be the 10 a.m. game. The 3A and the 4A games are coming up this coming, um, this coming week. And then Fleming Island versus Doral, that's the boys. That's Saturday at 1 o'clock.